Hi friends, so in this video I will try to recreate one of the looks in this magical book, Making Faces, by Kevin Aquan. I have had this book for years. I love Kevin Aquan. If you don't know who Kevin Aquan is, he is, well was, he passed away, but he is and was one of the greatest makeup artists of all time. Like just unbelievably talented and unbelievably creative. The looks that he created throughout his career were phenomenal. He worked with actresses and models and singers and just created stunning, stunning looks. He knew how to make someone look natural and beautiful and he just brought out their best features. I love his work, I'm absolutely obsessed. So in this book, he has a bunch of different looks and I will do my first video of trying to replicate one of them and of course I'll do more trying to replicate the rest but I will try to recreate one of the looks in this book and it has step-by-step -step instructions, which I will follow and read them out to you guys. And you will watch me do them, watch me follow each step and see how the look actually comes together. So if you wanna see all of that, keep watching. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll read the steps as I do them. There's just nine steps for this makeup. Like, look how gorgeous this makeup is and there's literally just nine steps. Like, how am I, an amateur, supposed to recreate Kevin Aquan, like one of the greatest makeup artists of all time? How am I supposed to recreate his makeup in nine steps? This will not be cute, but let's give it a try. So step one is lightly groom the brows if needed. I don't really need to groom them. This is what I have here, they're groomed. This is what I'm working with. So we move on to step two, which is fill in the brows where necessary with a brow pencil. Got a brow pencil right here. And I mean, it says we're necessary, so we're gonna need to do it everywhere because I overplucked my brows in my teens and 20s. And this is the sadness that has grown back now that I'm trying to grow them back. This is the best I could get. So lesson here, kids, don't overpluck your brows when you're younger because it's gonna be really hard to grow those babies back. So here I am. Now let's, let's fill this in. So brows are done. Uh, now we move on to step three. Step three is apply shimmery liquid foundation all over the face to give it a glow. This will naturally highlight parts of the face. So I don't have shimmery foundation, but what I'm going to do is mix my By Terry Sally Rose Serum, and this one's in Sunny Flash. This is one of my absolute favorite products. It's pricey. She is a pricey little bee, but it's so good. And I'll take my current favorite foundation. I absolutely love this Fenty foundation. It's oh, so good. So, well, these are easy drops. It's like tint, um, like a skin tint, but it's got really good coverage, so for me, it's foundation. So I'm gonna mix these two together and then put that all over my face. And it says to apply it with a sponge. So I'm gonna do just like a pump of that on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to do a little dollop of this on the back of my hand. Guys, I really don't know how this is gonna turn out. Like, just that picture is so pretty. I just don't know, I don't know. Okay, just a little bit more of the skin tint. And now, wow, this is really dark. Ooh, it's fine, we will work with it, we will make it work. And so, usually, I read this book of his before. He likes to apply foundation from the center of the face. So I realized I just goofed because I was just applying it everywhere, but it's okay. We make it work. I have never, ever, ever applied, did my brows first and then put on foundation. So this is a bit weird for me. I feel like only people that are highly qualified in doing makeup can do that. So I'm a little nervous that I may disturb the brows. I mean, do you see the highlight? Do you see the gloriousness that the CC Cellulose Serum gives you? Whew. It's just, look at that, look at that. Mwah. 
So the next step is to dot pink cream blush onto the apples of the cheek, um, temples and chin. Hmm, okay, so I have the Morphe um, cream blush and it's, it's really pink and pretty. So I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand Calm sa, there we go, like that. And then it says to blend well with your fingers or your fingertips. Oh, oh no. Huh? Okay. I dotted, I dotted. I don't know how much I'm supposed to dot. But here we are, I'm dotting. Okay, and now let's blend. See, like, amateurs like me should not be allowed to blend blush with their fingers. I feel like I'm gonna make a mess. Ooh, this is a very, like, 80s disco vibe where you do the blush, like, it goes on the temple, like, here in kind of like a C shape. I've always really liked that. I thought it really, like, draws the face and lifts the face nicely. Um, so I'm pretty pumped to do this. So, I mean, I think that's it. I don't know. I mean, if this looks good in the end, I think we still have achieved something. And by we, I mean me and you guys watching this and just your support. The next step is apply white iridescent cream shadow to the entire eye area with the fingertip. I don't have cream eyeshadow that's iridescent but i do have white iridescent powder shadow so we're gonna go with that we're gonna improvise so for the iridescent white shadow i have this all may one right here i'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand so there's that one it's got a little bit of a shimmer it's, it's a bit of an off white but then i also have in do you guys remember this palette love this palette so in this palette there is this one called virgin i'll swatch this as well this one's not as pigmented but that is okay i'll just put on two layers so these are the two options that i've got you know what i think i'll go for the urban decay it's got a bit more of a white the the other one's a bit too yellow it's got a yellow undertone so Okay, it says to apply it with your fingers, but that's for clean, cream blush. I am not going to pretend or even begin to try to put this eyeshadow on with my fingers. So I'm going to apply this, like it said, uh, white iridescent cream shadow to the entire eye area. So flat brush right here, and then tap off excess and just start putting that all over all the way up to the brow. Okay. Next step, brush brown cream eyeshadow into the crease and softly under the eye using the shadow brush. So, we're gonna go in with powder again and it says brown cream eyeshadow. So we're gonna use in the picture, let me just remind you again, well, this gorgeous lady in this picture it just looks like a soft brown so we're gonna go with that and see how it goes so i think i'm gonna just stick with this uh naked palette and i think the color i'm torn but i think the color i'll go in with is buck which is brown so i think that's good enough so i will first take this type of brush this is the mac 219 i think and I will pick up some shadow and I'll put this in the crease and then I'll blend it. But it doesn't really talk much about how to blend it. There is a picture here, so I mean, it's a drawing, but okay. Anyway, we just place this in the crease and he brings it all the way in like that. And then he says to also apply this softly under my eye. So same brush, tap 
off the excess. And for under the eye, it looks like he's bringing it all the way in to where the lash line ends right here. So it looks like he's doing that whole area. So here's what it looks like now. You can't really see it. I'm gonna take this brush. This is the MAC 217. And I'll dip in that brown or buck right here. Where is it? Right there. And I will just put a little bit more of that in my crease just because you really can't notice it. Okay, so the next step is to curl lashes and apply the lightest bit of black mascara. So I'm just gonna curl these babies. So I know this isn't part of the step, but I always, 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 always put on the L'Oreal Voluminous Base on my lashes. So I will do this before I put on the mascara. I just find that my mascara sits better and my lashes just look better. So now for the mascara. So they say, he says just a little bit. I will try. So we are now on the second last step and now we're moving on to lips. And step eight says, outline the lips with flesh toned pencil and soften with cotton swab. Got my cotton swab right here. Got my flesh tone or as close as I'll get to a flesh tone uh, lip pencil. And this one is by Annabelle and it's 405 Demure. I love this color. So then we take the Q-tip doesn't really show what to do, but I'm assuming he just blends it into the lips and just softens it a little bit. The last step is with your fingertip, apply clear lip gloss to the center of bottom lip and smack. Literally, it says smack. Love that. Okay, so I have my clear gloss here. This is the Sephora colorful gloss balm. So this will be applied onto my finger and I am literally going to apply it to the center of my bottom lip like so. Oh, I forgot how good that smells. Okay, like that. I mean, very natural. So here we are, took my hair down, didn't really do much else, but this is the final look. This is what this look turned out like. Here's what I tried to attempt. Who was I kidding? But yeah, so this is what it looks like. There are things I love about this look. So I love the blush application. I think it's very pretty, very youthful. I really love that blush application. I definitely will try it again. I think for a white iridescent color that I don't really use um, that much in my makeup anymore, I think it's actually quite nice and it brightens up the eye and opens up the eye really nicely. Look at me talking about makeup as if I'm some pro. I think for the lip, next time I would have used like something a bit more rosy um, just to give my lips a bit more color because I mean, in person, even in person, they still look quite natural. Um, but yeah, my I love how dewy my skin looks. There was literally no powder setting in this makeup look, which I like because I have drier skin, so I do appreciate nice dewy skin. Sometimes I like a bit of light powder, especially in the summer, but I just love the glowiness to this look. So there are a bunch more looks in this book. So there's the bombshell, like... I can't wait to try that one, my God. Um, and it's like so the models are either actresses, singers, um, or actual models. Like here, Vanessa Williams, God, she's gorgeous. But he has a bunch of different looks that I wanna try and uh, I'm gonna film them all for you and make you guys suffer through them with me. And uh, you guys can see me struggle while I try to do uh, to copy Kevin Aquan's uh, makeup looks while following the instructions in his lovely book, or as I call it, the Bible. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I was just trying to do something different. Um, I have had Kevin Aquan's book, Making Faces, for so long, and I was looking at it the other day and I thought, why don't I just try to 
do replicate his makeup looks. He has step-by-step -step instructions in there. So why not? Let's see if this amateur can recreate them or at least come close. So thank you again so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if there's any other videos you'd like me to make or what you thought of this video. Did you like it? Did you hate it? It's okay if you hated it. Don't worry. But just let me know. I, I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, hit that subscribe button to see what videos I come up with next and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time.